Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 and I'm going to show you how to create a price matrix in WooCommerce using a plugin called WooCommerce Bulk Variations. It's ideal if you have variable products and you want to display the prices in a way that people can see how the different variation prices compare to each other really simply. So here we have a price matrix created using WooCommerce Bulk Variations. This is basically the variations of a particular variable product and you can do it with products that have either one or two attributes which you're using for your variations. In this example, we have a paper size attribute and a quantity attribute. And to give you another example, this is a t-shirt product using the same plugin, WooCommerce Bulk Variations. Here we have attributes for t-shirt size and attributes for color. And we've also here chosen to include a variation images column so that people have a visual representation of what each of their variations will look like. And in both cases, you can see the price of each variation. So it's a really clear matrix of the prices. And if you want to, you can use a price matrix as well as creating a bulk order grid for your variations. So here we have an actual variation order form also created using WooCommerce bulk variations. So you select however many variations you want and you quickly add them to the cart. Here we have the edit product screen for a variable product. You can see here that I've set it up as a variable product. In the attributes tab, I have two, variation, two attributes which I've used to create my variations. And like I said, you can use the plugin to create a price matrix of products that have one or two attributes that are used for variations. You also need to have created your variations and added prices for them. Once you've done those things, the new tab will appear, bulk variations. So that's where you can enable the variations grid. If you want to do so automatically for all your variable products, you can do so globally via the plugin settings page. But in this example, I'm going to just do it for a specific product. If you want to replace the standard drop downs that appear for your variations at the top of the product page, then you can tick enable variations grid. And if you want it to be a price matrix without the ability to buy your variations, then you would also tick the disable purchasing box. So when you do that and tick those two boxes, then it will appear like this at the top of your product page, where normally you would see variation drop downs and an add to cart button. If you want people to be able to buy your variations, then you could either disable purchasing, or if you want to do what I've done, which is to have a price matrix at the top and then the ability to buy your variations lower down the page, then I'll show you how I did that. So I enabled the variations grid to the top of the page without the ability to purchase. And then I edited the main product description to include a short code, which has a, um, the ability to actually buy. So that is created using this. So you can see my product description here, some text, and then the short code. The short code is open brackets, bulk underscore variations, and then you do include equals and the ID of the variable product. You can easily find the ID by looking at the URL at the top of your edit product screen. You'll see a number in that URL and that is the ID to add here. You, if you want people to be able to uh, buy the variations, then you would go disable underscore purchasing equals false. And you can also choose whether or not images are um, displayed as a column within the grid. It's all pretty flexible. There are more short code options as well. And you can even choose which attribute is used for the horizontal and the vertical axis of the grid. And you can set all of these options globally on the settings page or for individual matrices, uh, either in the short code or in this section I showed you before. So that's it. We have a WooCommerce price matrix, which displays the prices for your variable products. It's an excellent way for your users to see the prices of each variation at a glance, and it's much more user friendly than this typical WooCommerce method where you have to select each variation individually from a drop down and then watch the price change. You can get the plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk, and it comes with full support. So get in touch if you have any questions or need any help setting it up. Thanks for watching.